definitions of health and fitness overlap. Fitness has been defined countless times by various YouTubers and Instagram influencers. The ability to do things, achieve a particular physique, be it a six-pack or a thigh gap, and health too has been defined and redefined with many different metrics. Low resting heart rate, low cholesterol, low body fat, insulin sensitivity, the list goes on. I find fault with all of these. I think the case is obvious that one can possess fitness by some measure of physical capacity and yet still suffer from profoundly compromised health. Vice versa, one can be healthy in measures listed above and be physically inept. This is not my argument. Health can't be measured this way. Health is only ever a direction. Nothing in nature is static. We cannot freeze time once the summer breeze and the sunset has finally found our backyard, nor can we freeze our bodies in some static state of health. Therefore, to define health by any such static measure, such as a low body fat or low cholesterol, is asinine, ignoring the direction which you may or may not be trending. Rather, I propose that health is characterized by the accumulation of adaptations to the stress which we face from life, i.e. the environment, which allow for the organism to maintain its present structure and expand its capacity to meet the challenges of the future. In other terms, health is characterized by the coherent assimilation of energy from the environment, then transformed into a more complex, energetic structure Upon its expression. This is so well characterized by the student whose brain ravenously demands fuel from food and transforms this raw material into their master's thesis. Let me contrast this with the direction towards disease. If the demands placed upon an organism exceed capacity, or if the energy available does not meet its intrinsic needs, the deficit must be rectified internally. In other words, given insufficient protein in the diet, your body will eat its own muscles in order to repair deteriorating organs. Given insufficient minerals, the body will eat its own tissues in order to maintain an electrolyte balance. Given social isolation, you might talk to yourself and talk yourself into a bad mood. If every day for a whole year you fail to digest adequate protein, surely, yes, your muscles will be smaller, but this is not the heart of the problem. Fundamentally, your consciousness will have spent a year inhabiting a system which is dying faster than it can regrow. Does this sound like the foundation for creative and productive thinking? Acknowledging that as dynamic systems engaged in an endless energetic exchange with our environments, Disease and aging are virtually indistinguishable, characterized by a chronic state of deficit or by disorderly and entropic growth. Health becomes more evidently characterized by a chronic state of assimilation, expansion, and contribution to the environment, rather than the possession of any measurement at any given point in time.